Hi everyone, this is Elena and welcome. This time I have a card for you using the Hero Art Paper Layering Shark Die that's in the new catalog along with the killer messages that are made kind of to coordinate with uh, this paper layering die. So this is a three part die set. It comes with a paper layering shark and the two people that are swimming, male and female. As well we have the killer messages. We have um, kind of scary funny messages that I love. So I'll be using the uh, friends till the inevitable end. So I already die cut the shark on the bottom of my uh, watercolor paper. I'm using Fabriano Artistico and I'm going to use some Daniel Smith watercolors to color that background. So I'm using some uh, pearlescent uh, silver to color the shark which is kind of gray. So when you kind of move your cardstock you will see that shimmer onto the cardstock otherwise it just looks um, gray which is pretty nice. So I'm just adding more color to adapt and kind of make it a little bit darker on the sides. So I'm just doing this pretty quickly. So next I'll use the iridescent um, copper for the teeth. It's kind of on white cardstock it's not really copper but it's more kind of cream. So I'm adding a little bit more water there onto the head. Next I'm going, uh, using ultramarine turquoise to color the ocean and I'm adding some of the iridescent uh, copper. So I'm adding more color and kind of diluting that with the water. Next I'll pull up the shark so I can color underneath without the color bleeding, the paint bleeding into the shark. Next I'll add some more of that iridescent copper into the ocean to make it shiny and add a little bit more kind of texture. Next I'm using a gray, darker gray to color inside the shark's mouth. So I'm using smaller uh, brush here so I can go around the teeth and the color doesn't uh, and I avoid coloring the teeth. So we're almost done here. So there we have that and then I'm using Copic Multi Liner to color the eyes. So now I'm just going to heat set because I want to finish this card quickly and I need to stamp. I'll just show you a trick how to stamp onto this textured cold press watercolor paper using the Misty. Many times even when I use the VersaFine um, I don't get even stamping so with the Misty uh, I can stamp that few times and at the end result will be nice and uh, kind of intense black sentiment. Now I'm just adhering one of the eyes popped out so I added some sticky adhesive on the back and I didn't peel the back side only the top. You can use any other adhesive that you have or tape. So here is I'm positioning the killer messages into my mini misty. Friends, until till the inevitable end, I picked it up and now I'm using VersaFine ink. And you will see the first impression is not that black, it is kind of splotchy. So I'm repeating that a few times until I uh, get results that I like. So here I stamp it four times. And because I used the Misty, I, it stamped exactly at the same time, so I didn't get a blurry sentiment. Now I'm applying some. Um, clear embossing powder and heat setting it to add some dimension to my sentiment. So we're almost done here. I'll just adhere my card onto gray card base. I'm using Tombow Extreme Adhesive or the one from Stampin' Up! I think it's called Fast Fuse. And just popping everything up from the end we're done. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!